It's now time for a mission and a mission tonight. Expectant mothers and newborn babies at Latinka and Kadeni in the North Gonja district of the Savannah region still struggle to assess health care. Stanley Niblo reports a chips compound to serve the primary needs of the people is now a shelter for goats three years after completion. Pregnant women at Latinka and Kadeni for years have been going through difficult times to assess health care, especially when labor sets in. In September last year, a crew from TV3 visited the community to report on an abandoned community-based health planning and services, CHIPS compound, constructed to facilitate the provision of basic health care to the inhabitants. The crew chanced on a pregnant woman in labor being transported on a motorbike to a health facility at Bunjai, about 20 kilometers away, to deliver. This was after the community's traditional birth attendant could not handle the situation. The life-threatening journey was done amidst bad road. The situation Azaratu went through is what all pregnant women and the sick have had to endure. After that painful labor on a motorbike, Azaratu finally gave birth to twins, one boy and one girl. But the problem that still persists is that when these children are sick, their mother is compelled to carry them on a motorbike to assess healthcare at Bunjai, some kilometers away. Azaratu was not comfortable with the experience. Before I arrived at Bunjai on the motorbike, the pain I went through affected my waist and made the delivery difficult. The situation here is disturbing and it has to be addressed. In October last year, after TV3 had reported on the situation, Municipal Chief Executive for East Gonja, Muhammad Tamin, assured residents of commissioning the chips compound in four months. He told the mission team procurement processes for equipment to stock the facility have been completed and the supplier was ready to deliver the items. We have made provision for the finishing of these chip compounds in our 2018 budget. They were not budgeted for at all. So I did that and we have finished with the procurement processes and the supplier is in the in in in, in it's almost ready to supply these uh, equipments you find one or two of the cheap compounds in a bus state. we are ready to fix them and uh, get these equipment in there and get them uh, operationalized eight months on nothing has been done and the supplier has also not delivered the items goats continue to inhabit the structure the deteriorating state of the ceiling has also worsened. Assemblyman for Latinka, Mahamadu Mahama, blames politicians for the neglect. When you came here, before we, we talk about it, this year called me and said that I didn't tell him about the Kipwampa to do it. And, what I, and when I, I didn't tell him, and you come and I said that he didn't do anything, I went to spoil his work. So... How I done is not good for, for him. There has been a new development. Just now they, they, they divide the district. So we are now second off now. And we had our DC now. Maybe I will go and tell our DC and he also look for it. That's how I went to do now. Municipal Chief Executive for East Gonja, Muhammad Amin, when contacted, confirms the partitioning of the municipality, adding that the Lantinkpa Chips compound is no more within his jurisdiction, and so the facility would be one of the liabilities that will be passed on to the newly carved district. He again said, resources and logistics procured to stock the Lantinkpa Chips compound would be used to furnish other health facilities in the municipality. Road linking Kadengi to Lantinkpa which was washed away by flood, has also not been rehabilitated. Another chips compound at Yayayili in the East Gonja municipality also suffers the same fate. Here, 
Doors and frames have been dislodged from their positions as a result of termite infestation. Residents of Latinpa, Kedengi, Yayayili and adjoining communities are calling for stringent intervention to address their health care needs. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Latinpa, North Gonja, Savannah Region.